and left Warwickshire. Reeve, the skipper, they've had injury problems, certainly with Small and Munton down the bottom of the list there. Munton, Reeve said uh, he'll get through 12 overs, but he wouldn't get through a four-day game. The two umpires, David Constant and Barry Duddleston. Warwickshire won the toss and will bat. We join play now in the 11th over. 20 runs are on the board. Van Troost is the bowler. Ratcliffe is taking a strike. Oh, out. Van Troost in his first over strikes. And Warwickshire now 20 for one. Ratcliffe's gone. Yes, nice bowling there, but I think the wicket was born of frustration by the opening batsman. They were beginning to fret that runs were not coming quite so easily. Out. Poor shot there from Din, and again the extra bounce that Van Troos got this time to the keeper. He's taken the second wicket, and now Warwickshire in trouble, 27 for two. Yes, they're in trouble because of the pressure that's being created by all three seam bowlers. It's not giving any easy four balls away. Asif Din, you see, has been 50 balls for 15. It, life's been made very difficult for the openers with some good bowling. Straight away. Very, very uh, that's a good shot. leg spin. That's four. That's a good hook. Probably the shot of the morning. Terrific shot was this. Fetched it from outside off stump. Rolled his wrists enough. Totally in control of the shot. Peel for a stamping. Keeper read what Paul Smith didn't. <laughs> oh, that might be right. No, again, and when he's beaten on either side, this one he certainly went further. Yes, it turned quite a lot in the. The keeper had to fetch it from a long way outside the off stump and he just sneaks his way back. That's a 50 partnership. <laughs> Paul Smith has played his part in it, but that was one of the less convincing overs of the morning for Warwickshire. And lucky to get away with it. Paul Smith. And now he's got him, and Smith has been in all sorts of trouble against Mushta. He's played and missed. There have been all sorts of attempts to stamp him, and finally, mustak has got his man. The end of a good partnership now in Warwickshire in the 30th over. 89 for three.
Well, he's played well as Paul Smith, mainly against the seamers. Mushtaq certainly deserved that wicket. He's mesmerised him. Uh, Paul Smith couldn't score runs off him because he didn't know which way the ball was going. Life has been made very uncomfortable. Caddick now to Osler. That's a very handsome shot from Osler. Quite nasty. There's a tightest single here. Osler pushes him to the offside. Just keep your eye on Dermot Reeve. Pro comes in and the batsman. Pretty tough fellow, the Dermot Reeve. Burns was okay, but nine runs later, Reeve had to leave the field with minor concussion. We rejoined play in the 40th over. It's 126 for three. Mushtaq Ahmed is the bowler. Reeves' replacement is taking strike. He's Roger Toos. Well, Roger Toos was having a problem uh, getting that on ball in orthodox fashion. Caddick is uh, the fielder. Super shot from Osler. He's played the innings of the day for Warwickshire. And it's a good job he has. Takes him to 46. And the score to 135 for three. And we're in the 41st. That's 50. Come off 80 balls. is one of the longest boundaries on the ground as two fielders no more than 40 yards apart and he beat them. go for runs. Richard Harden, it looks as though, was the man who took that catch, and that was brilliant. Well, there's all sorts there. We've got two men down, one of whom doesn't look as though he's going to get up unassisted. It's more like a, a battlefield here than a cricket match. First Reeve, now Caddick. In fact, it's Van Troost. Dutchman are tough people. He says he's all right. There goes Twos. This is how he played last year. And when he's going, there's no better time of the ball. wasn't exactly moving with great freedom when the ball uh, whistled by him. And the one Trost has decided that the particular delivery was too much for him and so would be the fielding. The go. And then 
Lucky. As he was when he bowled. Oh, and Penny's made two out of nothing there. Well, he's given him, well, he hasn't made two out of nothing. Gracious me, Caddick, what a throw. Penny's one of the quickest runners in the, in the game. Made no bones about wanting the second. And now then, a wicket at exactly the wrong moment for Warwickshire, with uh, Somerset on the verge of having to bring their extra bowler on. And suddenly, the loss of a key man in Trevor Penny. And on comes Van Trost. Van Trost is down the boundary. And uh, there's nothing worse than in front of a full house. Got him. Good catch. Neil Smith has smashed it back at Graham Rose. Needed to be in the right spot, because he was veering away to his left in his follow through, but he found it very difficult to come back to his right hand side. And Dermot Reeve is coming back out. has got through he's uh, one of the walking wounded he's limping all over the place and he's taken a crucial wicket there for Somerset good shot beautiful time and wonderful placement that field is lightning fast That's a terrific stroke from Gladstone Small And absolutely the key thing here is boundaries. Right in, full Yorker. Small outs. And he's gone for 11. Well, that's the normal delivery at this stage of the game. Get the ball right up in the block hole. Denies people runs and there's a great chance of getting batsmen or even tail enders out. Certainly would like a boundary now. Two balls to go. Like that, he's done it. That was out of the middle. Well, it was a terrific strike. He is an unorthodox and difficult player to bowl at. He might have got another one. <laughs> terrific finish for Dermot Reeve. 11 off the over. And 252, Warwickshire. And they'd have settled for that throughout most of the innings. And a great gutsy return by Dermot Reeve. That's a very good performance, 253 needed for victory by Somerset, an excellent effort there, 252 for 8 with a top score, Dominic Ostler, 58, 41 to Roger Toos, and uh, good scores there down the bottom of the order, Smith 17 and a small 11. The bowling figures, Caddick bowled well till he was taken to the cleaners just towards the end, none for 41, one for 32 for Mallander, Van Troes 3 for 57, looked quite lively, and Rose, two for 63, with Mushtaq, the best of all the bowlers. He bowled quite magnificently, and no reflection there in those statistics. One for 40 from 12 overs, and no maiden. So the task is 253 to win for Somerset. 4.21 runs per over is the asking rate. And we join it now in the first over 
of the Somerset reply. Three runs are on the board. Small is bowling to Lethal. Magical. He was in a golden run at the start of the season with stroke play like that. Great shot. All timing. It's one of the widest pitch squares I've uh, seen in England. What a catch. What a catch by Dominic Osler. <laughs> I've not seen anything better than that. It was looping and dipping and on its way down and it was well away from him. And he gathered it in. has already picked up one magnificent catch. Reeve now to Harden. And very odd things going on, but uh, so is the score, which is important for Somerset. 32 now for two. Well, there were no feet movement here at all. The feet got stuck in the batting crease, almost stuck in cement, and he was lucky to get away with an inside edge for four. Shots like that take a little bit of pressure off. Nicely timed there from, uh, from Follins, and that's four. his second four. That'll be four. He has got a quick arm action, Paul Smith. And he just hurries on to the batsman a little more than they think much of the time. shot perhaps not quite off the middle of the bat but he knew exactly where he wanted to go very very loose delivery short and wide the two uh, recipes for disaster yes well no trouble for Richard Harden to smash away a, a wide long up from Paul Smith for Somerset. And now in the 29th over and 73 now for three. Yes, Richard Harden, he'll be disappointed with that because he got the ball in the middle of the bat. If it had gone a yard or two either side of mid-wicket, he'd have got runs for it. between the wickets today that might have been something else if this one had hit two's the fielder the ball played there's a bit of hesitation to start with 
Suddenly he's floundering, isn't he? Oh, and that's why. Oh, brilliantly done. Wonderful piece of work. to choose the man coming in there that was a wonderful piece of work Tavare has gone the fourth wicket down and uh, just the sort of thing Warwick should need more valuable runs there to the outside edge and partly angled back They just want to watch Graham Rose. Smith has got him. And that is a little triumph for Warwickshire. It's well bowled. He's turned the ball quite a bit. And he's also varied his flight. He hasn't been afraid to bowl the slower ball and push the odd one through here and there. And Graham Rose has gone. Caught and bowled by Neil Smith. And it's 99 for five. hit through it quite beautifully. sort of thing and what a triumph for him having been off the pitch for part of the match comes into it and now 122 and that's for six yes yeah, just when he was threatening Mushtaq he got trapped on the back foot to Burns. This is Reeve and with his first ball a long hop. He has dismissed Neil Burns. Those two men were involved in that accident earlier in the day and uh, you can mark that dismissal down as something of an accident as well. about to face his first ball from Reeve who's come back over the wicket oh club Reeve is on a hat trick and now Somerset are deep in trouble Probably out, and a sad end to a dogged innings. But uh, Paul Smith strikes, it was all that Nick Follin could do. And uh, he's fought long and hard. Came in at a difficult time with Gladstone Small in the middle of a, a fine opening spell. He's battled away, he's held the thing together as best he could, but Paul Smith strikes. Warwickshire win 